Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 mods that pretty much every player should have installed, and none of these mods really add anything new to the game, more so they just make things either easier or better. So anyways, let's go ahead and check out those mods. Alright, starting off, I'm just going to be giving an honorable mention to Optifine, and normally this would probably be my number one mod on this list, but you guys would probably rather drink wet cement than see that again, and really it's just such a good mod that it should be very obvious that you should have it installed. Alright, now that we got Optifine out of the way, the first mod I'm going to be showing you is the What's That Slot mod. And this mod allows you to hold shift over a specific slot and it'll actually show you everything that can be used inside of it. For example, when you're using a furnace, you can just hold shift over the fuel slot and it'll show you everything that can be used. And this even works with modded blocks, which is very helpful when you're in a mod pack. Next up, we have a mod titled Re-Off, and this mod actually allows you to re-sign in or change accounts while you're inside of Minecraft. So if for whatever reason you can't connect to a server or you need to switch accounts, you can do it really quickly rather than having to restart the game. Next up, we have the Smart HUD mod, and this mod adds several new slots to the right of your hotbar, which will display specific items if they aren't currently in the hotbar, and the list of items that this section will actually display is completely customizable and works perfectly with other mods. Continuing on, we have the Klee Slabs mod, and this is a mod that I've shown before and I really love because it just fixes such a stupid part of the game, and that's the fact that you can't break individual slabs if you place them together, and it's such a simple mod but it's just so necessary. Just Enough Items is the next mod up, and this mod has had many names in the past, and it's still one of the most essential mods to play with if you're going to be using a mod pack, because if you have a bunch of mods installed, it's going to be really tough to know all the crafting recipes, and this mod allows you to quickly search for blocks and find out exactly how you make it, and honestly, playing a huge mod pack without this mod installed is so brutal, Satan probably wouldn't make you do it. The next mod I have for you guys is the Better Placement mod, and this mod pretty much adds a feature from the Bedrock version, which is being able to hold down the place button and all the blocks will instantly place, and this mod is just incredibly helpful helpful to have installed because you won't have to spam click to build anymore. Up next we have mouse tweaks, and this mod adds all kinds of amazing new ways to manipulate your inventory. For example, if you scroll on a stack of items, you can add or subtract a single block at a time from that stack, and this mod just makes managing your inventories much easier and faster. Up next, we have better FPS, and this mod, as you would probably guess, just increases your FPS. And while it isn't that necessary to have installed if you have a fast computer, it will definitely be helpful if you have a slower one. Nearing the end, we have Mind Menu, and this is another mod that will be very helpful to have installed if you're playing with a lot of mods, because as many of you probably know, when you have a bunch of mods installed, keys will start conflicting with each other, and this mod will aim to fix that, as you can pretty much assign anything to all the slots in the menu. And overall, this mod is both very helpful and saves a lot of time. Alright, the final mod I have on this list is Vanilla Fix. And despite the fact that this mod boosts your game's performance in many ways, my favorite feature of this mod is that it'll just send you to the main menu when your game crashes and it'll actually try to show you what caused the crash, and it's incredibly helpful to not have to restart your game every single time the game crashes. Alright, that's the end of this video, and if there's any other mods out there that you'd like me to check out that you think just makes the game a little bit better, definitely post them in the comments below and I'll be sure to check it out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.